Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I have another speed reviews video. So this is where I give you speedy reviews on all the makeup that I have been testing out over the last month or so and then I feel like I can put it away in my collection because I've like said my piece on it, you know? Now, I did a shop on Colourpop a little bit ago because I wanted to try out the Cheek Dew Blushes. What the heck? Oh my god, look what's happened to this one! I was just about to give these a good review as well. It's been really hot here in Queensland lately, so that might have something to do with it. Well, look, besides the uh, weird separation, I have been loving these blushes and this color in particular. They are a very, very sheer formula. And so you need like a deeper shade to be able to see it because I thought that this shade was going to be my jam, but it was like too light. I could barely see it. But anyway, this is the shade and it is just gorgeous. So it looks quite deep and if you've got fair skin, you'd be like, what on earth? But look at that when you sheer it out. It is a very dewy formula. So if you want that wet look, like glossy cheek vibe, this is the product for you. And I do find that that finish sticks around for a while. It's not just there for an hour and then it's gone. I would like it if they were a little bit more pigmented, but it is what it is. Next from Colourpop, I have some eyeshadow palettes, starting with the Going Coconuts. This palette I have been dipping into so much. It is beautiful. I had been eyeing off this palette for so long and I am extremely happy I picked it up. The matte shades are beautiful. The shimmers are just gorgeous. They're so metallic. And they even have these two, like, they're matte, well, they're not matte because there's a bit of shimmer in them, but they're not metallic like these middle shades. I think it's just one of those really good neutral palettes to have because you can do a simple like daytime look or you can glam it up because you've got like a deeper matte and the shimmers. So definitely recommend. And then I picked up some of their little four pan palettes. I've got Dare to Bear and Sorbet. Dare to Bear is like the perfect just matte neutrals. Like... If that's all you do, this is going to be amazing. Because you've got, you know, light to medium to deep. Like, what more do you need? And then the Sorbet palette has your two matte shades and two shimmers. I actually used this palette today. My eyes look a lot more purple than what these shadows look. Like, this is what I use. Don't you reckon they look different? So that's kind of a little bit deceiving, but the formula of the shadows works really well. Very smooth, creamy, blendable, builds up well, like no problems there whatsoever. And then lastly from Colourpop, I have the Feather Effect Brow Pens. Now, I'm not, like, I'm not in love with these. So I got two shades, medium brown and light brown. Light brown's a bit too light. It doesn't really show up that well in my brows. That's it there. And medium brown is a much better shade for me. Okay, like the formula is good, but it's the brush tip. It is just so freaking tiny that you have to really press down to get anything to come out. Where usually the tips are a little bit longer, so you can just, you know, lightly do this and the ink comes out. But because it's so short and you've got to like press down quite not hard, but I don't know. You've just got to apply them differently and mm, it kind of puts me off. I think that the packaging is really cute and I like that there's different shades in the range, but I just wish the brush tip was a little bit longer. Another brow pen I tried out is the Kmart Brow Blade. I was so freaking excited when I saw this, like as if Kmart just come out with a brow pen. So one side has a like pencil, it's a very thick and chunky tip though. And then the other side is the brow pen. And this is a felt tip applicator. Now, it was all well and good the first time I used it. And then it changed color and it was like way too light. And then it got worse and this freaking cap just keeps popping off and it dried out. So like, 
What the point? So now it's just a dry mess, nothing comes out, and the lid just constantly springs off. That was a real bummer because I got very excited over that. Some more Kmart makeup. I've got two mascaras. First is the Limitless Lashes, and this is giving me Too Faced vibes. Now, I love the formula of this. Like, it's not too wet and it's not too dry, and I really love the wand. Again, very similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex, but it's a bit smaller, so it's easier to work with. I really, really loved this, but it would sting my eyes. Mm. Like, it was so good at first, and then a few hours in, it, like, releases fumes or something. I don't know what it is, but they would sting by the end of the day. And I remember I would come home and, like, you know, sit down and just close my eyes, and, like, it just hurt. I don't know. I've never had a mascara feel like that before. And then this mascara here, the Volumizing Mascara, it did the same thing! Like, why? The wand on this one isn't very interesting, it's like just a basic mascara wand, but this was a brown, and it's a really beautiful chocolatey brown that gives you just, you know, a nice natural tint to the lashes. But, a few hours in, my eyes would start stinging. So, look. Sounds a bit dangerous to me. Next, I've got the OXX Creamy Blush Stick, and this is in the shade Raspberry. Now, first thing, it was broken when I got it, so that's kind of annoying. Um, but look, okay, packaging, really nice. Kind of has like a soft matte touch to it. The blush, a very beautiful color, very creamy. It would apply well to bare skin. It doesn't apply well over the top of makeup. It lifts up the foundation no matter if you use a brush or a sponge. Um, so that's kind of annoying. But when I would just use it on bare skin, like, you know, very natural makeup, I just want a little bit of blush to add some color to my face. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It has a nice dew to it. it like, it looks fresh and glowy and it's, I don't know. Like, I like it for that but I don't like it for on top of makeup. And then the last OXX product I wanna talk about is the Eyebrow Tint Gel. And I got this in the shade Blonde. Now I do really like that it has a tiny little wand. My favorite. It does a really good job at tinting the brows, but I just find the formula is a bit wet. So like if you go in, you just have to be careful with how much is actually on the spoolie because it just goes everywhere. So you have to go in with a very tiny bit and like spread it out carefully because otherwise it gets all over your skin. So I don't know. I feel like all the Kmart products, like they have a good thing about them and then also a bad thing. So it's like, do you buy it? Do you not? <laughs> Moving on to a product that I don't think I spoke about on YouTube, but this is the Ulta 3 Golden Hour Tinted Moisturizer. This was released well, a couple months ago, and I had high hopes for it. I was like, ooh, I like the sound of it, tinted moisturizer, glowy, glowy, whatever. But oh my god, this just did not work for my skin. If you saw the video where I tested out the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted whatever, this did the exact same thing. Like, it was just a patchy mess. No matter how I applied it, like a brush, a sponge, my fingers, it just did not want to sit right on my skin. So that was a bummer because I would really like to find a nice tinted moisturizer, like BB cream kind of product that works for my fair skin. But everyone I've tried so far, it's just, it's just ain't it. It just ain't it. Now the next product I have already done a full review on, and it is up on my channel, I'll link it down below, but it's the L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum. First of all, the shade wasn't the right fit because they blend a bunch of shades together. So it was a little bit too dark, and then the formula just didn't sit right on my skin. It felt quite heavy, and it also looked a bit dry. It was very strange. I did pick this one up on sale for like $20, but originally this is $40. Excuse me, L'Oreal, get over yourself. 
I just prefer the regular True Match foundation, but I will link the um, review in the description box if you want to hear more. And then lastly, I have the Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink Lipsticks. Now, Revlon, I feel like, is a bit of a boring brand these days. Like, I don't know. I think they've been trying and they actually really caught my eye with these lipsticks. I don't know how new they are. First of all though, can I just say, why do they put those freaking stickers and you can't get them off and it just looks ugly. So annoying. I have the shade 007, which is what I'm wearing today. And then I also have the shade 001. So this is 007, the one that I'm wearing, and this is 001. The formula of these lipsticks is just beautiful. They're a little bit, I don't know if she's the right word, but they're not like as opaque as a matte liquid lipstick, but like they still give you plenty of color. They dry down to like a demi matte finish so they're still very long lasting but you've got that little bit of a sheen to the lips which I think is just so pretty. If you need something that's just going to last a little bit longer this is a really great formula it's very comfortable and it applies really well too so for example like when I eat lunch and you know your lipstick comes off a little bit in the middle when you reapply it doesn't like leave a gross line or anything like it just looks all blended it's very very nice I also really like the applicator it has a pointed tip and a little bit of like a curve to it it's very very comfortable to apply and it makes it easy to get like a nice straight line like a nice straight lip line you don't really have to go in with a lip liner all right well that is all for my speed reviews today if you have tried any of these products I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments it's actually been pretty hard to test new makeup lately because we're back in masks. I feel like we only got out of them for like two weeks, but I wear a mask every day, like all day at work. And so I don't get to try out as much makeup and it's very upsetting. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And if you're new here, you can take a look around and consider subscribing. I love creating content using affordable drugstore makeup, especially drugstore makeup that is easily available here in Australia. If you're after more content, you can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.